Thank you again to our national convention team, national office staff, members of the board of directors, and all of the volunteers who have worked to bring us this, this successful convention. To our elders and past presidents, to our chapters across the world who are doing great work, and to you, this great community. I rise to tell you that the state of the ABCI is strong and we are moving forward, black forward. I began my term with a strategic planning process guided by the African proverb, if you want to know the end, look at the beginning. And so I, along with the board of directors and the board committees, we identified our goals for the year and plans to implement those goals. We looked closely at the mission and vision of ABCI, and we looked at the purpose and function of the organization. Let me, let me tell you about where we are in a few key areas. And I wanna center my comments today on four specific areas. Number one, on membership. Number two, on advancing the profession of African psychology. Number two, number three, solving problems in our communities. And finally, speaking out on behalf of our people. Let me talk about membership. I am so proud to report that we are continuing our upward membership trend with a record breaking 1,030 members. By comparison, we had set a previous record of just over 800 members at this point last year. Within these numbers, we have had solid growth among our early career professional and lifetime membership categories, both of which will sustain the ABCI now and for generations to come. What these numbers tell me is that people still find ABCI to be a respite space, a respite space from the systemic oppression, as well as the macro and micro aggressions that they experience in the workplace, in classrooms, in boardrooms, and faculty lounges around the world. And ABCI will continue to be a place for safety, for growth, and professional and spiritual nourishment. The second membership point I'd like to share with you is that the ABCI is fighting for you. Listen, we know that the workforce shortage has been a major challenge and that it occurs at a time where more people of all types are seeking mental health care. So in partnership with Black Psychiatrists of America and the National Association of Black Social Workers, earlier this year, the ABCI launched the first Black Mental Health Workforce Survey. With the information collected in that survey, we can advocate for you and your career and your ability to do the work you are called to do. I wanna thank our Western Regional Representative, Mrs. Lanier London for leading that effort. And if you have not taken the survey, I invite you to go to abci.org and complete the survey today. We will close data collection on Sunday. Our second priority area is advancing the profession of African psychology. And here I'd like to highlight the Journal of Black Psychology. The journal has grown in readership and attained an impact factor of 2.608 and a five-year impact factor of 3.681. I wanna encourage you to demand that your school carries the journal in its catalog. And I'd like to thank our Editor-in-Chief, Dr. Beverly Vandiver, and our Chair of our Publications Committee, Dr. Kathy Berlou. Thank you so much for your hard work advancing the discipline through scholarship. You might have also noticed the publication of the ABCI Code of Ethics in the Journal of Black Psychology. And I must give thanks to our Ethics Committee for taking an affirmative stance of telling the world how we view ethics from an African-centered worldview. The next area is solving problems in our communities. You should know the ABCI has prioritized creating programs by which Black psychologists can solve problems. Here, I'd like to highlight our ongoing project with the Pittsburgh public school system where we are sharing our knowledge with educators about how best to work with our, child, our children. 
I want to thank past president Huberta Jackson Lowman for leading that effort. I want to also take this time to cast a vision, a vision for expanding that work to Chicago, to Los Angeles, to Houston, and every school district where our children are. Our children need us now more than ever. My next highlight in solving problems in our community is our Sawabona Healing Circle program. The ABCI has responded to racial trauma and racial violence throughout the world, most recently in Buffalo, New York. And in just about every case, we do so for free. And we do it as a part of our organizational service to our people and our communities. We now have an agreement with the Black Family Summit to do healing circles with Haitian migrants who've come to, come to America. And just a few weeks ago, I signed a contract with the New York State Office of Mental Health to provide both healing circles and Sawabona Healing Circle facilitator training to Black folks across the state of New York. I wanna thank Drs. Tania Lodge and Evan August for leading that program and the Sawabona Committee for showing up for our people every time the ABCI has called. And I must also thank past president, Dr. Theopia Jackson for her vision for the program. I see you. Finally, our last area is speaking out on behalf of our people. I must tell you, it is our solemn commitment and responsibility to tell our own story and to speak out in the interest of our people. Here are just a couple things you should know about. I signed on to a report to the United Nations Working Group of Experts on People of African Descent. And this report centered on the needs of Black children worldwide. I wanna thank our long-term long -term friend, attorney Enola Aird and past president Cheryl Grills for authoring that powerful statement and advancing that work on an international stage. Finally, you may have heard a little rumbling across the metaverse when the ABC rejected the apology and asserted our voice on the harms done by Western psychology and its agent. I made a commitment during my installment that the ABC would speak up and speak out. And so I wanna thank the members of the special interest group and especially the leaders, Mrs. Jonisha Hickson, who is a student member of the ABCI, and Dr. Evan August, who is an early career professional. Thank you all for authoring such powerful words and in so doing, drawing a line in the sands of time. And so I am asking you, those under the sound of my voice, to join my president's forum and tell us about your experiences with the harms of Western psychology. With the balance of my time, I'd like to tell you about some exciting things coming. By next month, we will launch the Black Wellness Directory where Black folks can find Black therapists, consultants, and experts. And I want you to be a part of it. I encourage you to update your ABCI member profile in the member portal so you can feature your practice and your services. This is a free benefit to you with your ABCI membership. Next, by the end of 2022, we will launch a new webinar system that will give you new and fresh continuing education content around the year. Many ABCI thought leaders are already working to prepare presentations and webinars and courses so you can get your CEs and get education and training on ABCI's foundational work, as well as the latest in Black mental health and wellness. Last, by the end of this year, we will relaunch the association's newsletter, the Psych Discourse. We're gonna launch it with a fresh face and new ways to engage, learn, and share. In closing, I wanna honor all those who we have lost, both in recent times and in the past. Each day I wake up with resolve in my spirit and self-determination on my mind. 
And I know that it's there because of the strength, resilience, wisdom, and the love of our ancestors who guide me, who guide us on this journey. And with that guidance, and along with your commitment and your support, the state of the AB side will remain strong. And so I'm calling on you. I'm calling on you to come out of Zoom land. I'm calling on you to let your resolve and your self-determination help us to do the work we are destined to do. So with your time, your talent, and your treasure, let's move Black forward together and in unity. May you be blessed and kept. May you continue to experience peace and prosperity. And may love and Zola go with you everywhere and down every road you travel. Hotel, peace and blessings.